Hey everyone, in the last video we learned how to do our dialogue system. Um, we also learned how to set up our game script or, or our dialogue script and everything that has to do with the dialogue. Today we are going to learn how to do our first challenge and for that it will have to do with our main script. We're going to put it right here. Um, you can see how our intro is going to play first. Then we're going to start launching the, the first challenge. And yes, well, you're going to see how it works as I start working on it. Um, so yeah, let's plan what we want our first challenge to be. I was thinking, and I was thinking a good idea for the school game is that we could initially start the game and then the teacher will call the, the students into the classroom and they will have to pick a seat. So yeah, that will practically be my first challenge. I will want the players to have certain amount of time to get into the classroom and to sit on a chair and if they don't do it in the, let's say for example, 30 seconds I give, uh, they will die. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. And yes, let's get started. So first, you cannot actually sit on any of these chairs because there is no seats on it. So we're going to create, um, we're gonna go to workspace, right click, gonna insert object, and then we're gonna search for a seat. Okay, we got our seat right here. Now we need to check which is the uh, oops, which is the front surface. So we're gonna go to the to we're gonna click on it. We're gonna go to the properties, all the way down, and we're gonna check which is the front surface. Okay, so we know the yellow part is the front surface. So we're gonna rotate it so the front is facing the actual front, and we're gonna put it right in the seat of the chair. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to put the seat right here. Don't forget to anchor it so it doesn't move. And we're going to change the transparency to 1 so we can't actually see it. We can also group it with the chair if you want to. You have to select the two, the two items and then group. Okay, so we can delete the other ones. So we don't have to place a seat on each one. We're gonna copy this one. Put one here, put one here. Move it a little bit. And we're gonna copy this. Okay, perfect. So you should be able to sit on the chair now. That's good. So for a challenge, we want the players to get into the school and sit on a chair. So let's program that. We're gonna go to our game script and we're going to create some teacher dialogue, just like we did in the last video. So we're gonna copy this right here. We're gonna go to our challenge one and paste it there. We don't have the the teacher image here, so we are gonna copy it to copy it to, then paste it here. And we're gonna change the text to something like students um waiting on the classroom. maybe five seconds, then another dialogue that says, please come in 
and take a seat or else you won't be part of the class. Okay, perfect. Now we need to create create the the timer. So we're gonna go to starter GUI, screen GUI. Then we're gonna create another frame. We're gonna insert object, create frame. We're gonna rename it to timer frame. Then just like we did in the other video, we're gonna position it just as we want. I want it on the center of the screen at the top. So I'm gonna also change the, the anchor point like we did in the last video. Mm, not that, right there. Uh, I'm gonna go down a little bit. Gonna move it down too much. Maybe right there is perfect. Okay, so we got a timer frame now. Then we're gonna change the background transparency so we can see it. We're gonna insert text label. And we're gonna make sure the size is. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, that should fit perfect to our frame. We're gonna change the background transparency again. And we're gonna scale the text right here. And this is where timer will be. So if we change the text to, I don't know, maybe to like 30 seconds, that's how it's gonna look. So we're gonna change the color to white. Maybe we can we could also add a stroke. Remove the stroke transparency by changing it to zero. And there we go. That's how our, our timer gonna look when we call it. But to make it work, we will need a script. Okay, so first I want you to go to timer frame then text label and we're going to make the text label on visible tab you're gonna click the check mark so we can't actually see it until it starts playing so then we're gonna go to start your character scripts insert object we're gonna create another local script and we're gonna rename it to timer script you're gonna go to the link in the description that says timer script. You're gonna copy the text and you're gonna paste it here. Perfect. Now you're gonna go to rep replicated storage, insert object, remote event. We're gonna rename that to timer event. Remember it has to be exactly as it says here with the capitals and everything. Okay, now we're gonna go to our... Oh, okay, first we're gonna copy this line and we're gonna go to game script and we're gonna paste it right below the create dialog event. Perfect, now we can actually use our timer event. We're gonna go to our challenge one below, the, the, below our last dialog we're gonna do timer event, then fire all clients, and here inside the parentheses, I want you to put the amount of seconds you want on your tim timer. For now, I will use 20 seconds. Then below that, I want you to add wait and the same amount of, of seconds you added here. So it will be wait 20. Then after, after that, we're going to do something. But first, I want you to test it. You're gonna go to test, then play. This is what we did in the last video. I'm 
a random player. Students, I'm waiting on the classroom. Okay, this is our first dialogue. And the countdown started. So our timer works perfectly. And you can also tell that we can now sit on the chairs on any of them. So everything that we did works perfectly. We got our timer working. We want to check if the, if the player is actually sitting down or not sitting down after the timer ends. So we're going to create a new function. We're going to do local function um, check if player sit and then we're gonna close it okay then inside here we're gonna do a for loop for i be in pairs do we're gonna check all players game players get players then check if that player has a character player character then then we're gonna check if the player is sitting down B character humanoid sit equal true Okay, so the humanoid of the character has a property called sit that is true when the player is sitting down and it's false when the player is not. So we're gonna use that. Um, if I forgot to put the if then. So if the player is sitting down, we're not gonna do anything. But if the player is, we're gonna change this to not sitting down. This sign right here means that it's different from, which means it's false. Uh, so that will mean that the player is not sitting down. So if the player is not sitting down, we're gonna change the character humanoid health to zero, which means the player is dead. So we're going to kill the player if the player is not sitting down. So how do we call this function? We're gonna go below our wait time 20 and we're gonna call the function. Check if player sit. And yes, it should work now. We're gonna test it. Okay, so my torso didn't load for some reason. Uh, we're gonna wait for the timer to end to see if it kills me. Mm, without, without sitting down. So let's say I didn't get to the classroom and yes, I die. So yeah, if you actually get to sit on a chair the script should not kill you. So yes, you got or we got our first challenge working. And guys, challenges are pretty much about creativity. So I can't really tell you what to do. You try to be creative, try to learn how to how to program a little bit so you can make your own challenges work. I recommend learning the for example the the if statements, the for loops, everything, all this stuff, I know it's hard, you won't really understand it at first, but try investigating a little on the Roblox wiki. Uh, there is some really easy examples that will slowly make you understand this type of stuff. So yes, um, uh, for now, I'm uh, I'm uh, keep it to this point so so you can actually create your own challenges Try to do simple stuff just like I did. Check if the players are sitting down. Um, you can change which players, which properties the player has, but by going to the workspace, uh, then checking. 
searching for your username. Then the humanoid, you can see it's right here. And you can see all the properties it has. It has the jump properties, it, it checks if the player is jumping, it, check it, it checks if it's sitting down, if it's standing on a platform. You can do a lot of stuff with the player, try to experiment, try to try your own, your own challenges. And yes, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll try to help you as much as, we, as I can and, and yes. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.